Hey guys, it's your girl Happiness to Good here. Welcome back to another Shopify tutorial. And today's video is going to be very exciting because I am going to be showing you guys how to set up your Shopify payments account so that way you can start getting paid out when you start making sales on your Shopify store. The process is very easy and it is very important to set up your payments getaway in order for you to start receiving payments. If you fail to set up them correctly, then you won't receive any payments from Shopify. The process is very easy, quick and simple and once you put all your information correctly, Shopify will go ahead and approve your account right away. Like just just like that. But make sure you're putting all your information correctly. So let's go ahead into Shopify where I'll go and start showing you guys how to add your payments method to your store but before i jump into this tutorial please don't forget to smash the like button leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about today's tutorial subscribe on my channel for more shopify tutorials and other business tips so without further ado let's jump in today's video so now we are on our shopify admin page we are going to set up all our shopify payments and to do that, we are going to click settings right over here. And once we're here, we're going to click right over here on the payments. And this is the payments page. And on this page, we are going to choose our payments provider we want on our website. And as you can see, we have like different options we have shopify payments and the payments methods right over here in order for us to start making sales and stuff like that we need to provide some additional information about our business in order to start our payout from shopify payments so pretty much we'll go ahead and complete our account setup also we have a paypal checkout right over here I will really recommend you to also use PayPal as one of your checkout on your store. This will help you to make more sales when you have customers who doesn't want to use their credit cards and stuff like that. Only PayPal, okay? But before we do that, let's scroll all the way down. I want to show you something. So you see right over here on the payment capture. So pretty much make sure your payment capture is set up to automatic so pretty much when a customer buy things from your website and they put their payments information when your payment capture site is set into automatic it will capture the payments for the sales to be proceed so you will really want to make sure your payments is set up automatic so as when a customer bought anything from your store that payment can be captured automatically so the sales can be proceed if you don't have that you can go right over here on the manage and actually change it i will really not recommend you to use manual capture payments for orders because this will give you a really hard time so make sure it is automatically okay so now let's go back here and I'll go ahead and show you how to complete your payment setup. So we'll go ahead and click complete account setup and right up here you're going to pick your business type. So we're going to click this arrow down here and you can pick either you are a corporation, an LLC, partnership or non-profit, okay? Or you're just an individual, a sole proprietor. So I personally, I am a sole proprietor, so I'm going to pick that is my business type. So if you have an EA number, you can go ahead and put it right over here, but it's actually optional. If you don't wanna put it, you can just skip this. And right over here, you're going to add your business address, make sure all the informations are correct, okay? And then you're going to put your personal details, your first name, last name, your date of birth, and then go ahead and put your date of birth, um okay and the year once you're done you can go ahead and put your social security number so this is the information that is required to verify your identity so go ahead and put your last four digit for your social security number because this information will be required to verify your identity and your payment setup to be complete 
pretty much right over here you're going to pick your business category so we are going to select an industry there are like bunch of selection right over here so you can go ahead and pick if you're on the retail food and drinks clothing and accessories that is me and then go ahead and fill out your business subcategory okay I'm going to pick other clothing and accessories once you're done and on this box right over here you're going to pretty much write the descriptions of the product or services um shopify payments they will want to know a little bit about your business okay so you can go ahead and type um anything you want to tell shopify like i'm going to type my store is selling my store is a clothing boutique selling women clothing okay once you're done putting your information there you can go ahead and move right over here on the customer billing statements and on the customer billing statement sections this is where you're going to edit your information because this information like statement descriptor and the phone number will pretty much appear on your customer's bank statement so make sure what you write here is what you want because that's how it's gonna look like on your customer's statements so let's say if you just want to type maybe your business name you can go ahead and do that and type a phone number okay once you're done right over here this is where you're going to put your banking information so you can go ahead and add your routing number right here and then your account number so i'm going to type the routing number okay and then the account number once you're done putting all your information you can go ahead right over here and click complete account setup so once you're done completing all your account setup your account will be approved instantly and you will start getting money as when you start making sales but you have to know one thing using shopify payments there are some money that they're going to take away like so let's say if you made a sale of 40 dollars Shopify will take 2.4% of, of that $40. So pretty much you won't get everything of $40. Shopify will take a little bit of money. So yeah, guys, that's how you complete your Shopify payments account. Once you complete all your information and everything, your account will be approved and you'll be good to go. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me down below on the comment section and I'll be happy to answer back. If you haven't liked my video, please go ahead and smash that like button. Um, subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so and I'll see you guys on the next video.